Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to understand how to calculate the clinical attachment level and how does it differ from the probing depth. So let's begin. So clinical attachment level refers to the distance from the cemento enamel junction. Here we have the cemento enamel junction. So basically this is the cementum of the root. This is the enamel of the crown. Okay. And where they join, we have a junction that is the cemento enamel junction. Okay. Now, CAL, it is the distance from the cement enamel junction to the base of the pocket. So let's understand, like this is the pocket right here. So if this pocket was going and attaching till here, the distance between them, okay, the CJ and the base of the pocket, it is the clinical attachment level, okay. It indicates periodontal tissue destruction and is crucial for diagnosing periodontal diseases. So let's see a few examples and understand how do we measure the clinical attachment level. The formula is CAL is equal to the probing depth plus gingival recession if we have it or if we have gingival enlargement we subtract that value. So the first case is if we have the gingival margin which is at normal position then CAL will be equal to the probing depth. That means we don't have any gingival recession in that case. Okay. Now, if there is gingival recession, what you do, you add the recession to the probing depth and you get the CAL. Now, if there is gingival enlargement, what you do, you subtract the gingival enlargement dimension with the PD to get your CAL. Here are a few examples. Let's suppose we have normal gingiva. Okay. And the probing depth was 3 millimeter. There is no gingival recession or gingival enlargement. So, in that case, the CAL will be 3 millimeter. Now, second case, we have gingival recession of 2 mm. The probing depth was 4 mm. So, what you're going to do? You're going to simply add them together and this 6 millimeter will be your clinical attachment level. Okay. Now, the third case where we have a gingival enlargement or a pseudo pocket here, we have, let's suppose, 3 millimeter as gingival enlargement. Now let's try to understand the difference between the clinical attachment level versus the probing depth. So first let's understand what are these, okay. So CAL as we discussed, it is the distance from the cement enamel junction to the base of the pocket. So here, this is the cement enamel junction and this is the base of the pocket. The distance between them, it is the clinical attachment level. Now probing depth, it is the distance from the gingival margin to the base of the pocket. So, this is the gingival margin, this is the base of the pocket and this distance is our probing depth. So, clinical attachment level measures the true attachment loss. So, it reflects the past disease progression. While probing depth measures pocket depth only. It does not indicate the attachment loss. Is CAL affected by gingival recession? Yes, it includes the gingival recession. But probing depth is not affected by the gingival recession. It only measures the depth from the gingival margin. Is the clinical attachment level affected by gingival swelling? No, it remains constant even if gingiva is inflamed. But the probing depth is affected by the gingival swelling. So we will have increased pocket depth in cases of gingival overgrowth. Now the clinical attachment level is more accurate for diagnosing periodontal disease severity. It is used for staging the periodontitis while the probing depth is used for monitoring the pocket changes. It helps in the treatment planning. And how do we calculate it? We saw that CAL is calculated by first measuring the probing depth and adding the recession if it is present or subtracting the gingival overgrowth if it is present. While probing depth is measured directly with the periodontal probe from the gingival margin to the base of the pocket. So let me know in the comment section below if you found this video helpful. Also let me know what next topic should we cover. Till we meet next time. Take care. Allah Hafiz.